In the semi-arid lands of northern Haiti, singing rises with the morning sun up and over the corn and cassava fields. Community members have gathered together at the cassava bakery, filling the air with the scent of baked bread, deep cultural traditions, and a feeling of home. The bakery represents just one of many small economic enterprises built from crops grown on Haiti's state land and is symbolic of the Haiti proverb, Yon sel doit pas manger kalalu, or you can't eat okra with one finger meaning community interdependence is necessary for survival in Haiti. And as such, the cassava bakery embodies more than just economics. It serves as a framework for sharing knowledge, resources, and laboring together under the hot sun to build successful community food projects and to strengthen each member as an independent food producer. By exploring cases like this, my Shirk-funded research reveals how these communal strategies reduce vulnerability to food shortages and build a sense of belonging, resulting in healthy, stable communities. One key conclusion that my research has revealed is that there are problems, namely, that although Haiti's peasant majority constitutes Haiti's future, peasants are unable to plan that future because power lies in the hands of policymakers who focus too intensely on economic benefits, forgetting that local communities create national stability. This problem has intensified since the 2010 earthquake, as land grabs to build large-scale economic projects are an ever more popular reconstruction choice. During my field research, members of the Cassava Bakery lost access to state land, resulting in disrupted livelihoods, heightened food insecurity, and an unsettled sense of belonging. The concern is that current land conversions have every intention of expanding and disrupting further lives. These findings prove why participatory decentralization, a governance methodology that requires local administrators and community organizations to design local state land use, and is already written into the Haitian constitution, should not be abandoned but rather utilized to maximize the potential benefits from state land and to create a food secure and politically stable future. Yeah.